Welcome to the Art Project. If you're new here, please subscribe. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you got anything to say about it, leave it in the comments down below. Don't forget to check out the description for more information. Uh, so you have probably been working on color theory. You've done a color wheel. You've done some tints, tones, and shades. You've done a bunch of things with paint. And now the question is, what can you do with those mad skills? Well, let me tell you. In this project, we are going to do a neon sign. Uh, for my classes, you can make that neon sign say anything you want it to say. Um, and as many letters as you want. I went with Eva, because that's my daughter's name, and I thought I would make this for her. You could also do GHS or whatever your school letters are. You could do your initials. Uh, I recommend all three of them or more, however many you got. Uh, or you can uh, use a nickname that is three letters or four letters. Uh, don't be afraid to do four or five letters. Uh, it's the same amount of uh, paper, no matter whether you're coloring in. Uh, three letters or 20 letters it's still a 9 by 12 sheet of paper uh, I also recommend a border which I did not do on this piece of paper uh, probably 0.5 inches half inch border all the way around and a lot of the markings that I'm making right here were just to center the word and make sure I got it even in the middle of the paper I did that by uh, drawing a line three inches from the top and three inches from the bottom and three inches from the left side and three inches from the right side uh, and that centered the word just right, centered Eva just right. You may have to change that up a little bit for yours. And then I went through and I erased all the lines that I did want to keep. Uh, you can see Eva a little bit, just enough for me to paint it but it's probably hard for you to see because I did erase it. Now I'm gonna go around all of the letters with a very tight outline. I don't want to be very big because I'm trying to make it look like it glows. And so the smaller and tighter you do that, the better. But also keep in mind that you've got to get a paintbrush in there and you've got to paint it in. So keep it kind of tight, but keep it the thickness of about the thickness of the pencil, maybe a little bit smaller than the pencil. And you're just going to continue to do outline after outline after outline after outline all the way around it over and over and over again. Don't forget when you do an outline on the outside to do an outline on the inside of the letter as well. At some point you run out of room on the inside and you just end up doing it all the way around the outside over and over and over again. At some point the letters kind of mash together and the outline doesn't become an outline of just the E or the V or the A, but an outline for the whole word. Keep that in mind. And as I said, you're just going to keep on going around. Now, there are lots of colors that you can use to do this, but you need to follow a certain progression. You're going to start in the very middle with pure white. And you're probably going to have to do a couple of coats of white in order to cover up whatever pencil is in the middle, unless you erase it really well. The second color you're going to do is going to be a very light form of whatever color scheme you've chosen. So, for example, in mine, I've decided to go from white to yellow to yellow-orange to a little bit more orangey and so on. And yellow is about the same value as white. Uh, if you think of all the colors as having their own value, uh, yellow is the lightest of all the colors, with red and blue being a lot darker than yellow. So first I started with white, and then I did yellow, and then I did um, a yellow-orange, and then an orange, and then a red-orange, and then another red-orange, and I just kept working my way out until I got to red. Um, if you're going to do, say, blue, blue is not a very uh, light color, not very light in value. So you're going to start with white, and then you're going to do a light, 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 light blue, followed by another light blue that's not quite as light as the first, 
and you're gonna continue to do that until you get it um, to blue so you're gonna go from white to light 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 blue to light blue to blue and then you're gonna um, add a darker color to it like black uh, blue and black blue plus more black blue plus more black and so on uh, so that it gets darker as you go further out you'll notice at the end of the video that I got to a certain point where it just really wouldn't get any darker and so I also kind of ran out of time and went ahead and filled in the very last um, few lines with just pure black still turned out pretty well it depends on what colors you're using as to whether or not you can do that or should do that so just keep that in mind so that was my first coat of white you can see that it's a distinct different white from the paper now I'm going around it with yellow you could and I probably should have mixed a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow to make a very light yellow uh, but I didn't and I think in the end it still turns out okay then I take that yellow and I'm going to mix it with some red. Now when you do this, you can always add more red if you need to, but you can't take it back out. So please be real careful. Don't add too much red at one time. I actually added too much red at one time. You can see how different it really is right here. What you should see in the video if you uh, watch carefully is I'm going to go all the way around this with this color, even though it's wrong. And then I'm going to uh, remix my color right here and start uh, going over it again with just straight yellow. The reddish orange shows through the yellow but it softens it. it, it lightens it quite a bit. And then after that I mix a little bit more red in and then a little bit more red in and so on. At this point I'm just about to where I'm just going to do straight red right there. That is just plain pure red. And then after that, I start mixing that red with a little bit of blue. And then a little bit more blue. And I added just a little bit of blue, but it still looks red-violet, right? It's not blue. You want to add just little bits at a time. Here, you can start to see it change to blue or blue-violet. And then eventually I added a little bit of black, went all the way around it with a little bit of black added, and then all black. There's my picture. I hope you like it. I think it looks like it's glowing, and I'm pretty excited about it. I'm going to try a couple more tomorrow. You can see them on my Instagram probably. I hope you like it. Give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Now it's your turn. Go make some art.